Hello, this chapter is about the basic chemistry for biology. So in this chapter, you want to understand the basic concepts of chemistry in the first part of the chapter, about what is an atom or element, and then the different particles inside the atom, mainly protons, neutrons, and electrons. As far as biology is concerned, or even the reactivity of chemicals is concerned in chemistry, it's mainly the electrons that matter the most, but you would also notice that sometimes the protons are important. So understand the very basic concepts and the terms used in chemistry, including uh, electronegativity, isotopes, and how they are used in biology and so on, in a general terms. Once you understand that basic concept of what an atom is and what are the com components of the atom, and then why they make the bonds to maintain that full valence orbits, that is the outermost shell of the uh, atom, you will understand why they make different types of bonds to keep the stability. The once you go past that basic concept of understanding atoms, particles, electronegativity, or octet rule, then the next part of this is what are the different types of bonds and interactions. So within that second part of this chapter, the types of bonds and interaction, you will see covalent bonds a polar covalent or a non-polar covalent. And then you will see ionic bond, and then you will see hydrogen bond. Okay? So within these three bonds, so in biology we normally say the covalent bonds are stronger than ionic bond, and chemistry you may hear the otherwise ionic bonds are stronger than covalent bond. Okay? Both are correct in different contexts. So in chemistry they always look at a few substance, whereas in biology we look at low concentrations of ionic compounds under aqueous surroundings. So under such condition, covalent bonds are stronger than ionic bonds. Okay? Moving on. The next part you will find in that bonds and interactions are hydrophilic, hydrophobic interactions and van der Waals. So understand what these are. Okay? The lastly, in this chapter, you need to also uh, pay attention to where do you find these bonds in biological molecules. So in biological molecules such as a protein, it's a complex molecule and you would find covalent bond, you will find hydrogen bond, you will find ionic bond and hydrophilic, hydrophobic and van der Waals. So this is important not only learn the basics of chemistry but also be able to apply that to biological context.